Day two of Wizard World in Anaheim. Saturday. So can we first say how crowded it was today? Oh my gosh. It was like being in a totally different convention. Completely different from yesterday. Jam-packed with people. Jam-packed. It was insane. Shoulder to shoulder. Sweaty. Sweaty hot. body to sweaty body. No air conditioning. They really need to air condition it. Oh. Because some of us ladies are wearing uh, a lot of coverage. Um, yeah. Yeah. Got pretty intense there. So intense, we should go camping. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Um, so speaking of layers, some little missy here has debuted a new costume. Can we show it off? I think we must. I think we should. <gasps> Look at that cape. Oof, I love this cape. It's so soft. It's so soft. So soft. Ah, oh, and I am not. Bat girl. Mm. Do not call me Bat girl. I am vengeance. A few people. I am the knight. I am Batwoman. A few people made the mistake today of calling her Bat girl. Mm, did not go over well. You either got that response or you got I'm the goddamn Batwoman. Hey, how many amazing cosplayers? Oh met. my gosh! Oh my goodness! We met some of our absolute costuming idols today. Um, gosh. And yesterday too. And yesterday too! Well, who do we start with? Keldar! Um, Keldar, who we also saw yesterday, who is such a sweetheart. And She's so talented and lovely really. and nice and oh my goodness. She has something like 200 costumes that she's built. I mean, it's incredible. She's amazing. Incredible. Um, so she was dressed as Jane today, and it was super cute. Jane from Tarzan. Um, and Daddy, they took my they boot. They took my boot. <laughs> she had a little parasol up outside because it was hot. It was so cute. And a total sweetheart. Um, and then um, we ran into, actually, a friend of mine, um, an online friend that I had never met in person, and I was amazed to see her there. But um, Riddle who uh, has the most incredible wasp costume. Um, it's it's uh, fiberglass. Yeah. Chromed fiberglass panels, which I happen to know are held by magnets to her chest of this, like, custom-made really? um, bodysuit that she it, made. Her, I mean, it's like, I can't even begin to tell you the, the craftsmanship that this girl is capable of. But what a sweetheart. And she was there with her friend Valerie Perez, who is somebody that... Um, Miss Silver here was uh, actually referencing. We both your... were. Okay, I'm re I do. I we both did. were. We were looking at pictures of Scarlet Witch costumes for your Scarlet Witch. Which and is. I was like, wait, we have to go look at Valerie Perez. It's true, because she has the best Scarlet and Witch. Oh, lo and behold, there she was in her Scarlet Witch costume. Again, a total sweetheart. The young girl and it they was were so I nice. I know, because we were, you know, so like nice. drooling on them and they were. I'm sweethearts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm fancy, but sorry, like, hey, you're right there. And I was <laughs> the hugs <laughs> and pictures. Ah, oh, it was fabulous. And then, and then, and then, and then, we thought, for, oh, we had a major scare. Oh, do we want to go through that first? This was the emotional, like, roller coaster day for roller me. Roller coaster of agony. agony. She lost her purse. We were taking pictures. She put her purse on a booth we were looking at that had some really awesome dead bats. Yeah, dead things. I like dead things. I thought my purse would be safe amongst the dead things. And then all of a sudden it was gone. We turned around to take some pictures with some cute little kids, a flock of cute little kids, and I turned around and I was making eye contact to make sure my purse is still there. Nope, the spot, empty, nothing there. Um, there was some freaking out. I'm not there were lie. tears, there and were so I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And by a few, I mean like, they were like Drip. leaking, leaking out Drip. of the bottom of my mask. Um, and so we rushed over my, to you know, my ID, my security. credit cards, my phone, my the camera, camera, my camera with all of our pictures. <sighs> So we can actually have photographic evidence of what we actually did. And, and I thought I had been safe in geek land. I thought I was safe. So we went to security, and then they're like, oh, go to the administration area, admission area. And so we went there, and they're like, nobody's turned into purse. We're so sorry. We're like, oh, okay. Well, and then all of a sudden, in, in walks the sky, holding a purse. Holding my purse. And says, so like, saying to this other guy, hey, what's Did somebody just turn this in? <laughs> we both go, oh, my God! Ah! And I'm like, just sobbing, like, run behind the 
the counter. We like, ran. Tackled the guy. We gave him so big hugs. I hugs. kissed him. I think I cried on him a little. He and he's like, I wasn't the one who found it. I'm just the messenger. I'm like, I either shoot the messenger or I kiss them. Oh That's how I roll. So, and everything was safe. My cash was still in there. Somebody must have picked it up off of the booth, thinking that it was already lost. Even though I was, I really want to move on from that. I think we're, we're okay. I have everything. But you know what happened right after that? We ran into Ruby Rocket. <laughs> Ruby and by Rocket ran into us. She did. She approached Miss Silver here and said, "Hey, I'd like to take a look at your Batwoman. Look at your, you know, your great costume. Oh, I have a Batgirl. What did she say to you? I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. She, she said something yeah. really flattering. She really I wanted to check out her costume. And How Awesome is that? She's like, my name's Ruby, and I'm like, you didn't recognize her. And I I'm didn't. Like, I'm like staring at her, going, I'm like, she looks like. Ruby. I thought she, but I didn't she, want to if say. If she hadn't been right there, I would have said to you, she looks like Ruby Rocket. I know, but I've never seen her in person. I only seen her. I've like, seen her person, but never or... without a cost costume on. Right. She was in her cities. She was a civilian, oh and my gosh. she said, my name is Ruby. I made a Batgirl costume. Blah blah. And oh. I was like, are you Ruby Rocket? It's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I that meeting all these beautiful people and oh my god, but just like oh sweet gals. Like I was just so I was saying to her, it's so, so great to see people that you know I could just go get a drink with these gals. Like they we're all humans Preferably here. Preferably in costume. Preferably <laughs> in costume. Oh, and Ruby told us to go by her booth, yeah. and then later while we were leaving, um, she kind of came up behind us and was like, "Bye, girls. Bye, girls. Bye. See you soon." <laughs> I could have died of and then we went to the Drawn Together panel. There's going to be a Drawn Together movie, yeah. and they were showing it. Um, we decided to leave early just because we're hungry and tired, and we want to go see Kick-Ass because I really want to see it, see and Kick I Ass. love the comic. And we molested the Kick-Ass um, car yesterday, Ooh, and uh -huh. we got to uh, take pictures again with the original Batmobile. Mm -hmm. He yeah. took... He took us by the hand and said, ladies, please. Ladies. Right. It was a total Hugh Hefner little, moment. Oh, totally. That's the best totally. way to describe it. I felt like a Playboy bunny. And everybody, we're walking by booths and they're going, oh, uh, George has got some more girls for the Batmobile. It turned ladies. out that they now started charging for today $25, $25 to take a picture with the with car. The Batmobile. Lovely ladies. But at this Sorry. point, your camera wasn't working. I dropped my camera while I was hugging Iron Woman. She's so cute. I need to check her out on cosplay. Another adorable. Oh my gosh, she's so uh, oh, celebrity I cosplayer. Saw, she makes the best Pepper Pot slash like Iron Man slash now. Iron Man slash Iron Woman. Oh my gosh. I think we're we in the big leagues. At least C list or something. We've arrived. Jeez, I don't. I don't know. Thank you for beignets. What beignets? <gasps> we went Lunch. To we went to downtown Disney with one of my BFFs, whom I absolutely love, and I never get to see her anymore. And we had beignets in downtown Disney. We had the masks off, first of all, and we were allowed to walk around yeah, in downtown Disney. So we were allowed, but masks had to be off. Mask we could not take any pictures. pictures. We had to deny some people. It was bad. Yeah. But we were like, but there was we a security promised, guard. Security guard, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Beignets, literally the smell of them. Made me start salivating really badly. Yeah, After we had lunch, I started drooling. I'm like, 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 oh my god, that's no. Good. And then it was like I, there was a party in my mouth when we were eating them, mm -hmm. and everybody was having sex. It was amazing. I that's the best thing ever. And I think if I'm going to describe anything being that amazing, it's beignet. Oh, that is so beignet. We also managed so to beignet. not get powdered sugar all over ourselves when we ate. Powdered sugar wearing black. <laughs> We have mad skills. 